Welcome to Moving On TV and the Mental Health Show. My name is Lauren Hope. I'm the CEO of Moving On TV. And today I want to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder to me is when you've been shocked, uh, whether as a child you've been abused or you've been through wars in my case, and abuse, and your subconscious holds on to a lot of the thoughts and the feelings of what you went through, and you can get triggered. And particularly the way we're living at the moment um, in this world, the chaos and all the madness and lockdown, um, I want to talk about the fact that there doesn't seem to be anything for us, nothing for people who are suffering from post-traumatic stress. Now, I'm going to give you an example from my life. Um, I run Moving On TV. I've recovered. I've done a huge amount of work on myself. Um, I recovered in the therapeutic community. I'm in the book Simply Amazing. But there is still stuff in me um, that gets triggered. And um, because we're living in such uncertain times, um, I feel it's important to have structure to do my work. And so my work consists of doing my interviews, putting together my interviews to help the community, uh, putting together the shows that I do, doing interviews um, on Zoom, because obviously I can't go anywhere to do interviews at the moment, and um, putting the t the, doing the editing and getting my work out. And so my work is done usually at night. Um, because I feel more relaxed. Um, I'm a night owl. I feel like I want to edit at night um, and get everything done. And then I'll go to bed, um, usually uh, fall asleep for a few hours during the day and get up probably about three, two o'clock, three o'clock and start again. That's how the pattern has been up until now. Um, however, one of my neighbors decided to renovate a bathroom. Now, in an ordinary time, you know, when you're living, when you can go to the pub, you can have a drink, you can go to friends, you, or if you have family, which I don't, you can go and sit with your family. I have my in-laws, but they can't see anyone. Uh, you have a garden or whatever, and the weather is nice, or you go for a meal. Um, so you can get out or even do your work in, in, a, in Costa, or in a place where you could sit and edit. But in these circumstances of lockdown, this is where it's very important to know that there are laws, human right laws, protecting people with post-traumatic stress disorder, because there aren't. Um, so this person decided they wanted to renovate their bathroom in spite of the fact that we are in lockdown. And I explained to this person, I have nowhere to go, I can't work, it's disrupting everything in my life. And they wouldn't listen, they started with drilling, they started with noise, and that was it for me. Everything started to come up. I was lying on the floor like a tiny child stuck in an air raid shelter, because everything is stuck in your subconscious. Now, I'm not saying it, uh, that I'm against bringing up feelings. I'm all for bringing up feelings. And the feelings have to come up one way or another. But enough is enough. You know, okay, when they start to come up, you, you have to get some peace. And because, as I said, your life is all over the place. It's upside down and inside out. And you want to sleep. You can't sleep. Um, because that part of you has been shook up. And when the weather's not working very well, because no, as I say, you can't even go in, into the park because your PTSD makes it difficult for you to be with people. And so for me, it's, it created a really difficult situation and there's nowhere to go. Now, to me, asking that person kindly saying, I've got PTSD, can you please back down and give me some space to do my work? and to, to have some structure because as I explained, in the therapeutic community, structure is so important. If you don't have family and you don't have regular 
you know, family to call or to be with or friends and we're in lockdown and the world is, you just don't know what's coming from one day to another. You can't go down the shops because people are wearing masks and, and yet the government website says that this isn't contagious and people don't want to listen. Then what do you do? You feel like everything's coming up for you and you have no peace anymore. And if I asked this person very nicely and they refused. And so the PTSD came up, um, the primal screaming came out in the house one night and she called the police. And the police, of course, that is not where you want to go. You don't want them involved because they know nothing about mental health. 10 years ago, I had an episode on the street, a panic attack, and they threw me in, in a cell. They took my clothes off of me. They said I was going to kill myself. They wouldn't let me ring a lawyer. They, they wouldn't let me ring um, women's groups. I was going through uh, sexual abuse counseling. That's how this law is and this system and this country. And if you don't like listening to it, this is the truth and we need to change it. So how do we change it? Well, we have Moving On TV. This is a forum for people. This is the mental health show, and I thought it's really important to put this message out. Now, I don't know if groups will put this on their group because they don't like putting stuff out. But this is so important for you to know that we have rights. People who have been through difficult lives, war, abuse, been beaten up, whatever, been beaten up by the system, you have rights, and we have to somehow find those rights. And we have to be able to put them in front of these bullies that don't care that they are pushing us back into our childhoods, into our abuse, and where we have nowhere to escape to. You know, yes, you can bring it up, but you also need some peace. And I am here to ask for you to come together to create these rights. Come on, Movie on TV. Talk about this. Let's bring it together. Human rights are there. Every person has a right to be peaceful, to be happy, to, to breathe, to do their work. If you want to do primal screaming <laughs> because they set you off, that doesn't mean you're mad. It means you're bringing up your anger. You're bringing up your fears. And they set them off. So what right have they got to call the police? Anyway. Uh, or if you're doing your music and singing loud, they have no right to call the police. And that's what happened to me as well. They called the police on me because I was singing. I was singing and it was seven o'clock in the evening and they called the police because I was singing. I'm an opera singer. I'm a trained opera singer. I'm not even allowed to do that. But they're allowed to set off pneumatic drills in a tiny house right beside. Anyway, that's the problem. The solution is I have to bring on people here to solve these things onto Moving On TV. Take care, welcome to the Mental Health Show. Please pass this on everywhere. If you have PTSD, please contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. It's down below. Come on board, Moving On TV. Give me your, your PTSD issues and, and help me find solutions. Help me find solutions. The solutions are not drugs. The solutions are peace and quiet and meditation primal screaming, doing what you love, creativity. They're all in the book, Simply Amazing, chapter eight, my I recovered. I recovered in spite of what the world threw at me, taking my family away after my father died, taking every, my job away when the lockdown started. Yes, I lost my job. It was with elderly and they took it away because of the lockdown, because of this lie because it's on the government website that this is not contagious. It's been on there since March. They lied to you. So you need to wake up, everyone. Send this everywhere and, and help people like me and you. Take care now. Thank you. Bye-bye.